Well, members of an army unit which prepares parachutes for military exercises tested positive to illicit drugs days before soldier Jack Fitzgibbon was killed in a training jump. The ABC has learnt the personnel have been removed from duties and now face possible expulsion from the military. For more, here's our defence correspondent, Andrew Green. Uh, g'day, Andrew. What has uh, the ABC uncovered about these drug tests? James, you'll recall that back in early March, on uh, March 6th, in fact, the Lance Corporal Jack Fitzgibbon, a member of the Special Forces uh, in the Army, was taking part in what's described as routine parachute training at the RAAF base in Richmond. He suffered uh, life-threatening injuries uh, as a result of an accident during that training jump and then died later at Sydney's Westmead hospital. But what we've uncovered is that there were a series of drug tests that took place at a unit based also at RAAF Base Richmond in the days and weeks before this tragedy. Uh, in mid-February and very early March, uh, a series of drug tests were done at that uh, Army unit. This is Army's 176 Air Dispatch Squadron. And as a result of that, six personnel were were found to have tested positive to illicit substances. And so now uh, we're learning that those members were removed from duty while disciplinary processes are underway. And Andrew, where is the investigation into the fatal parachute jump up to? Well, there's at least four investigations that are now underway, including one being led by the New South Wales coroner. But speaking to military figures who are familiar with the immediate response to this tragedy back in March, they say that the personnel who packed and checked the parachute for the uh, soldier Jack Fitzgibbon didn't it test positive to drugs. So those uh, personnel were certainly cleared of uh, having any uh, prohibited substances in their system, but other members of the unit did test positive and army insiders say that it meant that this very professional and specialised part of the army was facing quite a bit of pressure because members had been removed in the days and weeks leading up to this tragedy. And has there been any response from the Fitzgibbon family so far? So the Fitzgibbon family, as we know, uh, is uh, Joel Fitzgibbon, the former defence minister. He's the father of Jack Fitzgibbon. So that has added another dimension to this tragedy that the former defence minister is now having to receive updates from the department he once was in charge of. The Fitzgibbon family have uh, not said anything publicly about any of these investigations. At the time of the death and at the funeral, they did remark about the courage of their son and his dedication. But in terms of the revelations that have, have now emerged, uh, they're certainly not commenting. And the Defence Department too is maintaining that it cannot comment while four separate investigations are underway including by the New South Wales coroner, as well as an internal army investigation and one being carried out by the Inspector General of the ADF.